everybody, this is me and today I have a very requested video because after Hoyas I was asked for a tackle, after Olympia I was asked for a tackle, after Christmas I was asked to do a tackle and after Liverpool I was asked to do a tackle. So today's video is going to be a tackle. <laughs> in this tackle was very kindly sent to me by horse hoods and I've got some little exercise boots for Casper um, it also is green so it matches the saddle pad that they kindly sent me so these are actually gonna be really good for when I'm riding on the road because they do have the bright neon green so the cars will be able to see me I think these will be really nice for exercising him in so this is what they look like out of the packaging I did leave them in the packaging because I wanted to keep them clean to show you guys so I haven't worn them yet but I'm very excited to so thank you so much horse hoods they have also very kindly sent me some overreach boots and actually Casper isn't a horse that actually overreaches but recently I've actually been finding that he does when we go out on hacks when we're cantering and galloping across the bridle path because he does get quite excited and likes to um, go quite fast so um, these will hopefully help him stop from just like clipping his um, front hooves with his back ones so these are definitely going to go to some good use Lastly, they very kindly sent me this bum bag and this little zip so you can put your phone in it, you can put treats in it, your keys. So as well, when you go hacking or go out, um, you can put all your stuff in here and you don't have to worry about things falling out your pocket. So thank you so much to Horse Hoods for sending me everything. So the next thing is in this massive bag here, as you can see. And I actually met Voltaire Design at Olympia and we started chatting and stuff and they were really, really nice. And then I saw them again at Liverpool and we did some filming with them at Liverpool because they're one of the sponsors for the Liverpool International Hall Show. So um, they very kindly gave me this little goodie bag here. So I'll show you what they put inside. First, of course, it is a saddle pad. And um, here it is. I don't actually own a brown saddle pad, so that is very cool. Um, and it just has their little logo here. And I love the blue stripes on there, it's so pretty. Next, they very kindly gave me some key rings. So one I'm gonna put on my car keys. I think the other I'm gonna put on the key to the tack room door. They also very kindly gave me some socks. And um, obviously, with equestrians, you always need some like new socks because they get holes in them, they, one gets lost, so thank you very much for the socks. <laughs> they actually gave me two packets of socks, so thank you. <laughs> and lastly, they very kindly have given me lots of hats. So I think I have three blue ones here, so there's two here and one here. And they've given me a brown one as well, so the brown one is for me to keep. And then I'm going to be doing a little giveaway over on my Instagram. So these ones here, they are, I actually signed these at Liverpool. So it's got my little signature on, uh, two of these, and then I'll probably, I need to put my signature on the third one. So I will be giving these away over on my Instagram account, which is at this underscore Esme. So um, be sure to check that out. So this is what it looks like on. I do have my hair in ponytail, so it probably looks a bit dodgy. But um, this is what it looks like. So thank you for the hats. Um, and I'd just like to say a huge thank you to Voltaire Design for very kindly giving me everything in the little goodie bag. Next we're going to go on to the things that I've bought at the shows that I've been to recently. Also everything that um, I'm going to be showing you now I have bought myself with my own money. So the first thing actually I got at Liverpool and I have seen this coat at all of the shows that I've been to, including in the summer at like Badminton and Burley as well. Because when I, because I've been to quite a lot of the shows this year, you actually get to know like all of the stores. You're like, oh yeah, saw that one last time, saw that one last time. So this coat, I've tried it on at multiple shows. They hadn't had my size. So in the end, I actually found it at Liverpool um, and it was discounted. They had a clearance, so like get rid of everything. So it was good that they didn't have my size before because I got it a lot cheaper at Liverpool. So this is a mustard riding coat. I love the colour, as you can tell, I like my bright colours. But um, I think this will just look so nice because it matches one of my saddle pads. But also I just think it will look nice like galloping, doing like a cinematic video, something like that. And also it's just going to be really nice for the winter to, you know, cheer you up from the winter gloom and 
darkness and so yeah I've got a nice new coat that's hopefully going to keep me warm over the winter because with equestrians there's always one coat in the wash one coat that's stinky one coat that's like drying because it's been raining so you always need like another coat so this will definitely come in use so the next thing I bought was this head collar for Casper and I just thought it was so beautiful and I'd seen this again at lots of shows but I didn't buy it and then at Olympia I saw it, it was the last one in this size and I just, I thought I would give Casper a little Christmas present um, from myself. So this has um, the really cool um, stitching on the nose band as well as here and it ha um, the colours on it are sort of a hunter green, a burgundy plum colour and sort of a golden brownie pretty colour. Anyway, I thought the colours just looked really cute together. But yeah, also his leather head collar that he actually has Mickey ate the nose band on it. So it got a bit chewed, got a bit manky. So I thought I'd treat him to a new one and he does look very cute in it. But the matchy does not end there, guys. They had a matching belt. I had to go for the matching belt as well, so then Casper and I can be matching again. But I just thought it was so cute, it has the same colours and it's exactly the same. But anyway, I just thought this would look really cute. Also the colours are sort of autumnal, so this time of year, um, like wintry sort of time, they look really pretty. So yeah, I just thought it looked really cute because they match and you can never have enough belts. <laughs> This maiden tail brush I bought because when I went to Liverpool, I forgot my hairbrush. And anybody else who has curly hair will know that when you wake up in the morning, your hair does not look like hair, it looks like a bird's nest. And because I'd forgotten my hairbrush, I needed to buy one. So I bought it at Liverpool on the Friday and then I used it on the Saturday morning. Um, so I bought this one because I thought it looked most like a hairbrush. Um, Gonna, as you can see it's got some of my hair in it but um, I'm going to use this for Mickey and Casper now because I found it it wasn't it wasn't up to scratch for a hairbrush for myself just because my hair does get quite knotty so I like to use tangle teasers the little plastic ones so um, they don't hurt your yeah, scalp as much so anyway um, I've just got another mane and tail brush it's a brown wooden one so yeah that's a funny story <laughs> Also, while I bought my hairbrush, I decided to get a jelly scrubber. Now, this isn't for myself. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. This is for Mickey and Casper this time. Because I thought it looked really cool because it has a little massage bit on. So I gave Casper a little bit of massage after riding. But the main reason is because I've never actually owned a jelly scrubber. I usually use, like, the magic brushes as a curry comb. But I thought this would be really good for when I'm um, giving Casper a bath. Because you could um, really, you know, scrub in the soap, get all the dirt up. So yeah, I just thought it looked really nice and fun for Mickey and Casper. <laughs> so the next thing I bought was actually in the Black Friday sale. So this definitely is a very collective tackle. Um, here I have some reins because my ones I found that some of the stitching was undoing and the last thing you want is to be riding and your reins to snap because that is very dangerous. Um, so these are just from Horse Equestrian, I ordered it online and they have the little stoppers because I don't know if anybody else is like this but I like to have the stoppers because when you're riding in England, when it's raining, if you're packing or something like that, it's just nice to have them just so because just so then you don't lose your reins, especially if you're wearing gloves and yeah, thick winter gloves and you just sort of forget that your reins are just slowly slipping away. So yeah, got myself some new reins. <laughs> then when I was buying my reins, I also bought a new brow band for Casper. This is a Shockamore one. Um, if I open it up, I thought it was very pretty because it's got the white stitching and it's got the cute little white stitching design on here and this is what I'm going to be putting on his bitless bridle just so then um, the white stitching also matches it and I just thought it looked really pretty and it would look nice on him so yeah I just thought it would jazz up his bridle a little bit more. So the next thing again I bought in the Black Friday sale, you know me, I go out for the deals. Um, and this is a anatomical neck pad, well that's what it says on here, and this is from Mountain Horse. Oh, just ripped the packaging. Uh, let's open it up. So I thought I'd try this out on Casper's Bitless Bridle, just because it's got a larger surface area. Um, so you just loop it through on your bridle and it just means that the horse doesn't get as much pole pressure so I thought I'd try it out, see what he thinks. 
um, if not I've got it for spares later on in life but I just thought I'd try it out and again you know me with the deals I did buy another saddle pad but I have my excuses I have my excuses okay because um, it's this one it's another weather beater my new um, one, one of my new favorites um, it's in purple don't have one this color I thought it'd look really nice in the winter but the reason why I did buy this is because with the Black Friday deals and everything for shipping you had to buy so much to get free shipping so technically I got this saddle pad kind of for free because <laughs> If I hadn't bought it, I would have had to pay that much in shipping or in like postage. So yeah, thought I would treat myself for Christmas. Um, so yeah, another one to the collection. <laughs> so next I have a lot of socks. Not one, not two, but six pairs of socks. Now it's sort of become a little bit of a tradition of mine that at Olympia they always have the same sock stand. Um, it's from the company, I should know this by now, Cozy Socks. And they always have a deal where if you buy three for the price of two, so I bought six because I, all year round, all year round, I don't buy any socks apart from at Olympia because I just, I never see socks for sale at like my local tap shop or things like that. And they're just one of those things that you never buy for yourself. Um, so I ended up buying six. So the colors I have are pink and sort of a creamy color, purple and white, gray and cream, yellow and white, <laughs> sort of a sandy color and blue, and green and white. So I think I have enough socks. <laughs> so of course, going on with the matchy theme, um, I bought myself another base layer because I don't actually have that many base layers. For the riding tops, I have more polo tops, which is great in the summer when it's really hot, but it's the winter at the moment and it's very cold. I also have this base layer in the burgundy and I actually wore it in my autumn cleanup video and it actually matches the Lemure Berry very well. So um, this again actually matches the Weather Beater saddle pad in the purple color very well. It's actually quite similar to the Lemure Black Current. However, I'd say this is more of a navy toned purple. It isn't as vibrant. So if you want a purple that's not too in your face, but just like a subtle purple, then uh, this is your color. These base layers, again, are just so comfortable. I find some base layers can be very restricting. You feel like you can't really move in them. But no, these are very stretchy. They're also really soft on the inside. So I would definitely recommend them if you're looking for a new base layer to keep you warm this winter. <laughs> So the last item in this tack haul, it pains me to say, <laughs> it is another saddle pad, but I have my reasonings because I didn't know that Voltaire was very kindly going to give me one and the other one I did get in the Black Friday sale for very, very little money. So this is definitely my Christmas present to myself and this is definitely the most expensive saddle pad I have bought in my life and will be the last expensive saddle pad I will buy in my life. And this is because Lemire have come out with a new range which is their Loire range. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, but anyway, this saddle pad, if you look, when I first saw it, I thought it looks like Lemire and um, PS of Sweden have had like a saddle pad baby because this is what it looks like because I wanted to try it out for you guys, tell you what I think. Is it worth the ridiculous price or is it actually really nice? So I bought one to try it out, I'm gonna tell you guys what I think. Because when I first saw it, I thought, yes, it looks really nice, but will it be as practical as you think? Because it, the material feels so soft and silky, but that can also mean it could be quite slippery because I, this is almost like a ribbon, like you know, like a ribbon sort of material, like satin, um, so it could be slippy. It also doesn't have the D-ring billet straps, it has this instead, and I was very intrigued, very intrigued to find out what this is. It's almost like when you have, um, it's almost like when you have knee rolls on your saddle, but it's for your saddle pad, and I'm like, what is this? Because it's not like it's a sticky material, so a saddle's gonna stick to it. It's just like this velvet covered lump. 
and I was a bit confused about what this is. So I want to try it out, see if my saddle does slip with it or not, or if it's good. So um, it's all mysteries here today. So I'm gonna try it out, see what it's like. Also another difference is obviously the squares are a lot bigger. I'm not sure if the inside material is the same or not because I'm used to the smaller squares, um, but it's definitely soft. And here we have the pad, and this is actually made of like a faux leather material, so it definitely feels a lot hardy, a lot more hardy and durable compared to the other style saddle pads. And again, it has the white stitching, but this is a slightly different shape, it's almost like a little M. And um, again, they have this here, and it just has their logo. But anyway, also, it's got a um, piping around the edge, which is nice because most Lumia saddle pads don't have the piping. So I'm going to try it out, see if it's worth the money and get back to you guys about what I think. So at Liverpool and Olympia when I did my meetups, I have two massive bags here <laughs> full of fan mail and presents that you guys have very kindly sent me. And I was going to open them in this sort of tack haul, but I've decided that I'm going to do a special mail time with Mickey just for them. So I'd just like to say another huge, huge thank you to all of you guys that came to the meetup and to you guys that gave me things you really did not have to. I feel so bad, but thank you so much for the presents. So that will be in a special mail time with Mickey coming soon. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as it was very requested for me to do a tackle. So there probably won't be one for a while because apart from the stuff that was very kindly given at the beginning of this video, everything else I paid for myself with my own money as I actually have two jobs. But anyway, I'd just like to say a huge, huge thank you for watching this video, I'm so grateful for everything that I have and anyway I'll see you guys next time bye